Holy cow, check this out, huh? Temporary closure of a station, ticket windows, and the waiting rooms. And not only that, I'm here at one of the train stations from SEPTA. They also closed the parking lot. Check it out. I just wanted to show you guys before I start fishing today how much of a ghost town this has become. Today is, I believe, a Thursday working day. Not a single car in the parking lot. Just my camera over here. And Leo Shang! Ladies and gentlemen, because the creek, it just so happens to be right next to this train station. So anyways, right, I woke up this morning and suddenly I just had this urge to eat some fish from my local creek. If you guys know, um, if you follow me on Instagram, you are already familiar that I have hyperuricemia and I have gout flares from time to time, right? Gout arthritis, meaning that I am currently on a low purine diet and I have to eat foods that are low in purine because once they get inside my body, it breaks down all into uric acid and that is really bad for me. I already got uric acid overload, right? So the trout that I got in the previous video for my sister and for my nephew, I couldn't really eat it because apparently trout is a species of fish that is very, very high in purines quantity wise. So the game plan for today is go to the local creek and just catch some sunfish, preferentially some red breast sunfish, Lepomis auditus, or maybe some rock bass, the Amblopletus hupestris, if I can find it, so that I can take them home and cook later for dinner. Let's go. Ah, ladies and gentlemen, so this is the game plan for today, eh? I'm going to be wading the creek, going to different holes, hopefully harvesting some sunfish that are actually big enough and chunky, meaty, succulent, back home to eat. And I got this little item over here that I told you guys would come back on the YouTube channel, right? You talk the talk, you gotta walk the walk. Check it out, huh? Uh, they sent me this stuff from Japan a little while back. It's apparently just a box, right? Check it out. It's very cool. It folds, so I can just kind of, kind of, how do you open this up again? Oh, there we go. You can kind of open it up like this, diagonal, right? And when you catch your fish, right here on top, there's an area that opens it up. So it is pretty much like a portable live well that you can put your fish in, keep it in the water so that the fish don't die because it is about 60 degrees Fahrenheit out here, right? As I catch this fish, and I, this is going to be a long fishing session today, I want to make sure that my, my catches are fresh. So I'm going to be carrying this thing around the creek in the pursuit of the juicy fish nuggets. Let's go. We got schools of micros, check that out. Banded killifish just swimming in the shallows. The water is definitely warmer over here, right? So it makes sense. Uh, I know it's a little bit repetitive, folks, but when it comes to wading creeks and things like that, I cannot do without the Aero Tackle stuff. It just works so well. So I'm gonna get started with some jigging, kind of jig around the deep holes in search of those juicy, yummy fish. Oh yeah, dude. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. That was too easy. Oh yeah. First cast of the day, man. Oh my goodness. Look at that. Now I need to set up a size for this red breast that I want to take home to eat, right? I'm always emphasizing selective harvest. And you know what? I think this size over here for red breast is not bad, not bad at all. It's a little bit chunky, so I would say in the range of 6 to 7 inches is the size that I'm going to be harvesting today. This one is going to be dinner. Check it out, huh? Check it out. Just boom! Open it up a little bit diagonal like that. Beautiful. I'm going to go get some water over here at the deeper portion of the creek. Just fill it up. With some water, this is actually a floating device, so it floats on top, pretty good. There's enough water for over here. And that's it, man. It keeps your 
it keeps your catches alive just like a little live well check it out i'm just gonna grab oh the red breast no no this is my dinner boy you ain't going nowhere i almost escaped the dude two fish nuggets <laughs> and then we just put it put it right in there boom there we have it and then we just zip it up that's it one fish one happy fish and i can leave the stuff in the creek if i want to right to keep the fish cool and alive it's beautiful it's beautiful beautiful start to our day let's leave our little live well over here boom now we got a juicy nice hole kind of bad because it is against the sun so footage wise it's kind of bad but looks pretty juicy over here let's see what happens man this is what's up this looks like a real nice hole right over here oh yeah oh yeah oh yeah what we got what we got is it a red breast what it's actually a, a, a little bluegill. Oh, okay. This one right here hmm, is about, it's a little bit too tiny for me to take it home to eat. Yeah, this one needs to grow up a little bit more. Of all the different species that could actually show up in this creek <laughs> comes a little bluegill, huh? Little bluegill. There's trout in this creek too, you know? Why didn't a trout just kind of walk, you know? Oh, well. Ladies and gentlemen, I do love the Eurotechal jig. However, I just saw some fish feeding. Let me get this line out of my mouth. I just saw some fish feeding in the creek on top water, man, on top water. And that means that there are some fish down there who are pretty much against the current right now trying to get whatever passes around so you guys know what time it is huh you guys know what time it is come on fishy fishy i saw you all oh yeah oh yeah what did i say i saw them man i saw them what is it wait 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 that's a smallie Oh, I cannot take that one. <laughs> That's a smallmouth bass, man. I thought it was a trout. I saw them feeding over. You see that, man? Changing for a little inline spinner. You may just catch something different, unique, huh? Look at that side of the mouth. Little smallmouth bass, Micropterus dolomiel. Fierce fighters of our local creeks. This one's a small one, right? The bigger ones are kind of spawning around my area right now, so they're kind of batting in some places. Wow, look at the markings at the back of this fish, right? It is truly a phenomenal, phenomenal species. It always, always pleases me to catch a beautiful smallie from my local creeks, kind of know that they're still around, that they're still eating and reproducing well, because this is just it is a beautiful beautiful species so i'm just going to give you guys a nice clean release on this side over here oh yes check that out man it fascinates me truly fascinates me i thought it was a trout <laughs> Well, now that's interesting i had one smallie over here one bluegill and you are telling me this is it for this hole? This hole looks pretty darn juicy. Fish on, fish on. I knew it, I knew it. It's got to be something else, man. Ooh, it's got to be something else. This ain't, this ain't no red breast. What is that, it's Molly again? Wow, my man, we found a, a school of dink smallies. I mean, I kind of call it dink, okay? And there are some big ones, bigger ones for this particular creek, but Truth be told, this size right over here is like uh, your pretty average size. Ooh, I will need the pliers for this one. Do some surgery on this guy. The thing about inline spinners is that sometimes you really, oh, easy. So damn, I was going to say sometimes you really need a set of pliers, 
because the inline spinner gets so deep in there that you can't rip the gill without using the pliers, right? I, I, I kind of stopped the filming for a moment over there and I very quickly went back to the bag to get it because the smallies, man, they fascinate me. I did not want to waste even a single second when it comes to saving that fish. But so far, what is going on? We only got one red breast in the, in the live well. We need more food. Hopping to the next hole. I'm telling you all already, this is the most convenient portable live well ever. The thing floats on top of the water. I don't even need to carry, see? I'm just dragging it along the water. I left a little bit of water inside for the fish that is there already so it doesn't die on me. It keeps my catches fresh, alive. And just think, today I'm waiting the creek looking for food. If you're fishing a particular spot and you're not even moving, right? Just not even like kind of doing anything. You can just leave the live well there. So convenient. And then when you get to the next hole, all you need to do is fill it up with water so that it does, does not kind of go away. And boom, you can even leave it in the current. Look at that. Hell yeah, that's it. Let me tell you, you leave it over there like that, it's not going anywhere. And even if it tumbles over, the fish is still in. There's the, the zipper, it's not going anywhere either. Oh, I see. Forms a little slow pool over here, but there's a lot of leaves though. Okay. Right next to the structure, fish on boy! Right next to that piece of structure, the fish came, yeah, on the spinner. I think this is a trout. I think this is a trout. And this is a nice trout too. Yeah, <laughs> you be serious, my man. No, that, that's a nice, that's a nice trout, fellas. Holy cow. No joke, this is nice, nice dinner right here. And I tell you what, this is my first rainbow of the season if I am able to land it. I have not landed any rainbows earlier this year yet, if you guys recall. All browns, all browns. Woo! Nice. Wow, that's real nice, guys. Real nice. Look, rainbow trout. Oncorincus micis. I cannot eat this one, but I will take it for my sister. This is what I call a beautiful day out here. 60 degrees, water temp going up. Check this beauty right here. I'm taking home to eat for dinner. Yeah, not for me, but for my sister and my nephew. My first rainbow trout of the season on the EP series, right next to that log. And there I say, if I cast my Euro tackle jig over there too, I think the results would have pretty much been the same because this fish let me tell you, this fish was just ready. It was just ready to nail whatever is it that passes there, right? And look at that. Look at that, how practical this is. Directly into the live well, zip up. We got one trout, one sunfish in here now. Man, I love this job. Actually, this looks real good. Okay, I think this is a good spot. Holes on both sides. Two currents that leads into a shaded area up there. Hopefully the section is going to produce to be at least one around this area, right? Oh, there it is, something. Oh my God, it's not a trout, but is this one of those rock bass that I was trying to get? Not bad, not bad, man. Ooh, first one of the day, Umblopletus. Dude, look at the colors. 
on this guy. No wonder they're so aggressive. And this one is a nice eating size too. Look at that. Fat, so chunky. So far today, we really, really got a mixed bag. I have to tell you, it's like one, one of every kind. I put my fishing rod over here. This one's going into the live well. There we go. Let's check it out. Then boom, got three in there now. Uh, uh, uh. Ooh, boy, the fishing today has been quite interesting to say the least. Hard labor, boy. Well earned food. I got three fish in the little live well so far. I got a live well right next to me. One trout, one rock bass. Ooh, ooh look how lively they are, huh? One red breast sunfish. I'm gonna start heading upstream again. As you guys saw in this video, downstream, I actually use the EP series a lot, the inline spinner. So upstream now, I'm going to switch to the Aerotaku jig in hopes of catching more panfish and uh, attempt to catch less trout because trout is just not going so well. So I'm going to have some canned goods right over here for lunch. I got uh, an Asian, a treasure, a bean treasure, dessert type of thing, mixed congee. Man, I'm just gonna have my lunch right now and I'll see you guys in a bit. You know, with the gout, you can no longer eat all the things that you really want to eat. That's right, fish. Which is why I need to eat, I need to eat stuff like this, you know? A lot of carbs, some sugar, low on purines with all these beans and stuff in here. Hmm. Besides the looks though, this thing is delicious. So if you have never tried before, you know, Asian Papo too. A treasure, congee, bean congee. Very good. Last spoon. There you go, huh? Good lunch. And to finish, I'm going to have some water because I have to keep myself hydrated with the gout, right? So I got about 32 ounces of water over here. I'm gonna have 16 ounces right now, half of that bottle. And we got a little apple plus mango Trader Joe's fruit bar, which actually tastes horrible. Not gonna lie, there's no sugar in this stuff whatsoever. It is all natural, so it is actually pretty sour, but you guys know it, right? It is just extremely healthy, so. And now we're gonna go back to fishing. Oh, last bite, last bite. Man, this thing is so sour. There's no sugar in this thing whatsoever. I love, I love how they put it at the back here. Vegan. Raw. Damn right, man. I'm like Gordon Ramsay. Raw. As I always tell everyone here on the YouTube channel, never leave your trash around your local creeks, right? Put it on the side of my book bag so that I can just find a trash can and throw it away later. Now check it out. While I was eating, the fish have been here in the live well. I just wanted to show you guys, right? It's been here the whole time. And check it out, dude, even the trout is still alive. Look, 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 I just gonna show you here. Boom, ah, my hand too big. Look at this, even the trout is still alive. You see that? Inside the live well. We got fresh meat for dinner over here. This is great. This is one of the greatest inventions ever. That is actually fascinating. There we go. Got one. Some fish. Seems to be nice eating size too. Not bad. Red breast. Couldn't resist the Euro tackle. Jigging for panfish. Oh yeah. Nice eating size right here. Check it out, huh, fellas? Just to show you guys about six, seven inches. Two nice lumps of meat right over here going directly into our live well getting there buddy
There we go. Yay, son. Damn, nice. Very nice. On the jig. This one right here, I don't think I'm going to take it to eat. Because for this creek, believe it or not, this rock bass is like trophy size for this creek. They don't really get bigger than, than this guy over here. And you guys, I, you know, I told you guys, I'm all about selective harvest. Check it out. This is a real, real nice size, okay? Rock bass for the painty pack. Look at that. It's spawning collars too. So like I said, this one here, I'm not going to take it. I am going to release it. This is in the range of, I'm not going to measure it, but this is in the range of 8, eight inches. 8 inches, okay? I'm going to definitely take a photo of this one. Holy cow, look at the size of this rock bass. The Amblopletus rupestris, spawning colors, all dark on the fins. You could say that this guy right here is really my PB from this creek up to date. I have never caught one bigger than this fella over here from this creek at least wow as i like to tell you all selective harvest right don't be too greedy harvest selectively only eat what is in between wow that fell is right by my feet and now it's swimming back nice i hope that one lays a lot of eggs this year or or find someone to lay a lot of eggs so that they can populate the penny pack even further in the future with more trophy rock bass yes son yes son yeah and that one i think it's okay eating size maybe okay eating size let's see let's see how chunky this guy is not too big not too small about is this about six inches Let's see, about six inches. Yeah, okay, this is good eating size right here. I'll take it, about six inches. <sighs> Quite a walk back all the way to the live well, but all worth it. In you go, my little fella. Hell yeah. Is that what I think it is? If it is, I cannot believe this, and if it is, I am pretty sure that you guys won't be able to believe it either, okay? If you are avid fans of extreme fillet fishing, you watch all videos here on the YouTube platform, you know that a while back when I was fishing this creek, the Penny Pack Creek, I came upon a very weird glass-like green object that I thought it was just a piece of weird bottle. And then a lot of the subscribers came over, they commented below, they said, nah, man, you can sell that thing for $50, $60. It is apparently the glass from old times that used to go on the post of something. And I was astonished, right? So I went back to the creek the next day, tried to look for it, but it had rained, so the current just took the whole thing away. Months later, here am I at the creek, just catching some, some, some panfish. For my, for my live well here, and look what I stumble, stumble upon. I think this is it. Look, look, I kid you, dude, I kid you not. What did I tell you guys, dude, this is it. This is the exact green thing that I saw earlier. See, man, things are growing on it. I mean, it is in very bad shape. I don't even know if anyone would want something like this. If you want it, let me know. Although this weight right here, the shipping would be quite intense. But dude, this is it. So you know what? I'm going to wash it. I'm going to take it. And I'm going to call it a day for the video here today. Okay, enough, enough finds for, for this day. Check it out. I'm going to show you guys here the final results for the day. Uh, let me just put the water all out. Okay. This is the final haul. Ooh, ooh, ooh. All very alive. And I'm going to take these fellas home to eat later. Check it out. We got ourselves here some panfish. Oh yeah, I can't give you a very nice view of it, but we got ourselves here some panfish. Uh, I, I, I can unzip it, you see, on the side later. Let me just unzip it over here. I can give you guys a better view of the live well. There we go. Open it up. 
and then we got the haul of the day not to mention even the trout is it still kind of alive are you still alive okay maybe the trout just died but it's still pretty pretty fresh so this is good we got two red breast some fish two rock bass and one trout for dinner time to call it man it's been a good day here on the creek thank you very much for watching i appreciate it found a little green thing from months ago lucky charm i'll see you all next time